What's up you guys, today's April 1st and that means it's a new day and a new month. And because it's a new month, I feel like I should start something new. I don't know, it's just the psychology of the thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and commit to making a video every single day for the month of April. 30 days, 30 videos. Now, I will say that some of these videos may be bad. <laughs> it's hard to come up with new video ideas every day. Uh, so I'll try to keep them short too. Like if I feel a video is gonna be bad, I won't take up too much of your time with it. But I am gonna make a video every day for the month of April maybe even longer than that. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. But for today, I have six items that I need to get pulled, packed, and shipped out. Uh, I'll do some organizing. I need to do some organizing and cleaning for sure. And also, I have this big stack of letters and postcards that you guys have sent me over the last couple weeks, uh, and I need to go over those as well. So stick around. should be fun. So I do want to quickly address some concerns or issues in my video yesterday. If you haven't seen that yet, I went to a stranger's house that I met on Facebook Marketplace to buy a bunch of Xbox 360 stuff from him to sell. And at the time I made the video, which was last Friday, I felt like I was taking the necessary safety precautions. I had Lysol, I had Germex, um, I didn't touch my face or anything like that. So I thought I was being safe, but uh, upon posting the video, a bunch of you guys disagreed with me fervently. Uh, if that's the right word. So uh, I do apologize for that. I've always said that if you guys see or hear me do or say anything that is um, questionable or anything you, where you think I'm not being a good example in the reselling community, to please call me out. I'm happy to, I may defend myself, but I'm happy to have a conversation about it. Uh, and looking back on the situation, it I could have been a lot safer, definitely. I could have worn a mask. I could have worn gloves. Um, I think it's up in the air whether like, it's okay to do it with the proper PPE, P -P 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 -E, or you shouldn't do it at all. Uh, and I don't want to get into a discussion or argument about that. Um, you know, so I just want to apologize to you guys who I offended with that. I definitely want to make sure I'm a, a good influence in the community. Um, so I do apologize about that. As a way to show my apology, I did disable monetization on that video. Um, it doesn't have very many views and a bunch of, a bunch of hate comments. I think I disabled the comments as well. Uh, but if you want to go watch that video, I have no uh, financial incentive for you to do that. So uh, I'm truly sorry. I won't I won't do any more Facebook Marketplace pickups. I do have a guy buying something today, but I will Lysol it and stick it in the yard and yell at him through the window for him to leave the money in the yard or something. And then I'll, I guess, Lysol that before I pick it up. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Um, but, uh, but yeah, this is a pretty serious situation. And I certainly understand um, your concerns. And I hear you. Uh, I think I lost like 10 subscribers, so I'm so sorry. Please come back. I miss you. Again, I'm sorry, and I will try to do better. I appreciate you guys. All right, folks, so here are these six items we have currently going out. I did sell a seventh item, but it hasn't been paid for yet, so we'll see if they pay for it quickly. Uh, the first item is this Ralph Lauren polo shirt. Uh, clothing is not selling very well for me right now. It's taken forever. This has been listed for probably six months, uh, but I sent an offer to a watcher and turned out the watcher accepted it and she was a viewer. Uh, a viewer named Kelly bought this for her husband and she paid $12 plus shipping. I think I paid $4.75 for this shirt, so not really making a lot of money at all. But Kelly, thank you so much for your support. I really appreciate it. Next up, we got these women's Echo walking shoes. These are in excellent use condition. I got these at Salvation Army uh, about three months ago. I paid $5.99 for these, and these sold for $30 with the buyer paying shipping. Pretty good sale there. Next up, we got these Adidas Added Power Boost golf shoes. These are the ones I cleaned on an Instagram post uh, a couple months ago. I paid, I think I got these at the bins. They were, I think was it the bins? No, I, I think I got these at Goodwill. I paid $6.50 for these. I remember these were in a video. Uh, cleaned them up and I accepted a best offer on these of $25 plus shipping. I think I originally had them listed for $35, bucks, but right now, given our certain uh, situation that we are all in, I'm accepting any reasonable offer. So definitely happy to be moving these out. Next up, we have two cat puzzles. This one's 550 pieces and this one's 750 pieces. This lot of two sold for $24 bucks plus shipping and I've got about $2 in each one. Or 20, excuse me, they sold for $24 free shipping, and I still got about two bucks in each one. Then we have a Nintendo Wii console. This is the one that is GameCube compatible. It has the little supports on the top. It is missing the flap. I tested this. It does work. It's just the console with no cords or anything like that. And generally, before all this stuff hit the fan, these would sell for about 30 bucks, 30, 35 bucks free shipping. Um, and slowly, I've been listing these uh, more and more pricier, I guess, as the 
as the market continues. So I listed this for $48 free shipping. Uh, I am gonna send this in a padded flat rate envelope. I am gonna bubble wrap it and put some extra cardboard in there for protection, but it does all fit in a padded flat rate envelope. Um, so it sold for $48 free shipping. It's going to cost about $8 to ship out. So pretty good sale there. I bought this in a bundle at a thrift store a couple, like three or four weeks ago, I guess. And uh, it basically I have about $10 into it, into this one. I bought units for as low as $2.92, uh, but this unit cost me about $10. So not a bad sale. And then the last thing we got going out today is this women in science puzzle. Pretty cool. It's got all the women, famous women of science on there. Uh, 500 piece jigsaw puzzle. And this sold for $12 plus shipping. Pretty good sale there. I think the original retail price was $16.99. I don't know if you can see it on there. But uh, pretty cool, pretty cool puzzle. Puzzles are just flying out the door right now, guys. Like I said, I've sold probably 30 to 35 puzzles in the last two weeks. Um, so if you've got them, list them. So I got everything packed up and right... What was that? <laughs> so I got everything packed up and ready to go and I sold two more things while I was packing that. I sold this Reebok CrossFit hat. Uh, I think I got this at the bins like uh, three or four months ago. It's been listed for a while and that sold for $10 plus shipping. I think I sent an uh, offer to watch her on that. And then these specialized women's cycling shoes, the little three, three whatever cycling shoes. I've had these listed for probably six months, been a while, but they're in excellent condition. And these just sold for $45 plus shipping. I think the buyer was all in like $58 or something crazy like that. So definitely a good sale to start off the day with. So I'm gonna get those packed up, get all the labels put on everything and go over there. All right, so here's my financial breakdown for today. We had a gross sale amount of $260.09 after fees, which is PayPal and eBay. We're left with $226.27. Our total shipping cost was $56.22, which wasn't too bad today. Our total cost of goods for all, what, eight items we had sent out today was $41.25. Then it leaves us with a net profit of $128.80. I'm going to save $32 of that for taxes, which is 25% of the net, and then I'll get to keep $96. I also get to keep this $41.25 in cost of goods. That's something I've never said in one of these breakdowns before. So basically, I started with $41.25. I spent all of that and generated $260 in nonsense in sales. So I got, after everything, I got this 4125 back in my pocket to spend, and then I profited, you know, 128.80. Uh, so it's kind of complicated when you like look at it like that, but uh, I think you guys enjoy these breakdowns to get an actuality of like, just because it's $260 in sales, after taxes and reinvesting my cost of goods back into the business, I'm really left with 96 bucks in actual profit. Um, so yeah, generally like the rule of thumb is that your your net profit in reselling is going to be about 50% of your gross. So 50% of this would be $130. Uh, and so our net is 128, which is very, very close. And I've found this to be true uh, majority of the time. It's usually about 50, 50%. So uh, let me know how your how you guys' profit margins work out in your business. Also, I realized since today is April 1st, it's the first day of the second quarter for eBay. So if you have a um, a basic, I think a basic or a, a basic store or above, like the $20 a month store or above, you get a free shipping supply coupon with your store subscription every quarter. Um, I have the uh, premium store, which is f like 50 or $55 a month. So I get $50 in free shipping supplies every quarter. And I use my coupon, which I don't really care that you see that because it's going to be used by the time you do. Um, but I got some eight by six by four boxes. These are great boxes for first class items. And then I got a 12 pack of eBay tape for $26.55. Um, since my coupon is only $50, I did have to pay $11.55 out of pocket, but that's pretty much fine. I don't really know anybody that uses their coupon like 100%. Like, I'd rather pay like five or $10 extra to get a good deal and stuff I know I'm gonna use rather than, you know, own, like waste money on a coupon. Like, if I've got a $50 coupon and I'm only gonna buy $42 worth of stuff, so I don't have to spend any money out of pocket, that's. That's, I feel like that's wasting free $8, you know, uh, and I'm going to use this stuff anyway. So let me know uh, in a comment on this video. Let me know what you guys buy with your store subscription, uh, your, your free supply coupon with your store subscription. I'm curious. So I have 12 postcards to go through, but instead of doing them all at once, I'm going to break them into two sections in this video. So I'll do six right now. This says Honky Tonkin in Nashville. And this says, so it says Harry Tornado, presently home for six weeks wearing a cast knee brace ran across your videos i now am only watching them non-stop 
I have a huge respect for you that you made a positive out of a negative. God bless you and stay healthy. Um, crystal? Is it Crystal something? I'm, I'm so sorry. I, it's the name at the very, very bottom down there. I'm so sorry. It's kind of hard to read, but I think it's Crystal. Crystal, thank you so much for this. I love Tennessee. I uh, have not been there in a while, but I love it. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Next up, this is Ride the Santa Fe and Disneyland Railroad, the scenic route around Disneyland via Grand Canyon, Can Canyon Diorama. Uh, that's pretty cool. Is it a postcard from, oh yeah, from Main Street, Frontierland, and Tomorrowland. That's pretty cool. From Disneyland. Uh, hey Josh, greetings from Disneyland. I wanted to send you a bit of magic from one of the world's most amazing places to spend time at. I'm happy that I came across your channel. You're down to earth and extremely charismatic and positive. Congrats on all your success. Thanks for all the tips you provide. Stay safe and healthy. Safer at home, California. I, th I think CA. I think, I think it's California. Uh, yeah, they're from California. Uh, Jess M. Los Angeles. Super chick. 1997. So Super Chick 1997, thank you so much. I love Disney World. I've never been to Disneyland, never been to California, uh, but maybe once all this is over, I will head your way. And it, oh, it, her handwriting is so, so Disney-ish. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's very, very Disney-ish. Thank you. Thank you. Next up, this is from Melbourne, Australia. Right, mate, Melbourne. Melbourne? Melbourne, Australia. Uh, airmail. Look at that, airmail. Uh, this says, Dear Harry Tornado, thank you so much for posting such informative and interesting videos. Part-time thrifter over here on eBay Australia. All the best with everything this year. Cameron S. I'll just say Cameron S. Cameron, thanks so much, mate. Uh, maybe I'll make it down to Australia one day. I have so much, I have so much built-up energy, traveling energy and motivation that as soon as we're allowed, I'm just going all over the place, man. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. This one was interesting because this is the same one that I've, I, I had gotten recently. It's like sitting, it's right there at the bottom down there, the I Heart Kiev. Uh, and it's exactly the same. It's still printed the same and everything like that. So, uh, so they sent it to me again. I don't know why. Maybe they didn't see the, the first video, but this is from Mike and Melanie. Uh, it says, hello from Kiev, Ukraine, where we work with Crimean Tatars. Displaced from the war, watching your videos reminds me of times itinerating itinerate, to raise our support to be here because going to Goodwill was my son's and my favorite thing to do as we traveled through Tennessee and the Southeast. He was on the lookout for Nerf guns, me for board games. So uh, Mike and Melanie, thank you guys so much. I definitely appreciate the, the second postcard and I'll put it right up there with the other one. Sorry if you didn't see the first one. I don't remember exactly what video it, in, it was in, but, uh, but thank you. I appreciate it. Wyoming, look at there. Didn't think anybody was in Wyoming. Hey Josh, my dog Oscar and I watch you most every day. I think Oscar likes Moe's better than he likes you though. <laughs> we notice that there are very few pins on your map from our part of the country. We are in Casper, Wyoming, 250 miles from the nearest Ben's location and worse, 180 miles from the nearest Chick-fil-A. <laughs> Thank you for your inspiration. We just made our first eBay sale. All the best, Fat Ugly Hermit <laughs> and Oscar. <laughs> Fat Ugly Hermit and Oscar. Well, Fat Ugly Hermit, uh, thank you thank you so much for sending me this. This is awesome. I wish you and Oscar the very best. This one, which is the last one for this batch here, this is an envelope. This is from Darren W. from Hancock, Maryland, Indy. I think that's Maryland. Ooh, what is this? What is this? Okay, it's a letter. Okay, let's see what this says. Josh, oh here, this is what this is what she sent. And it says, uh, Dear Josh Harry Tornado, you're one of the most entertaining resellers on the internet. I'm so honored. And family friendly at that. Please enjoy this vintage Tenchi Muyo postcard gem I found in my old stuff. I started off with fifteen dollars from a blender my wife doubted I could sell, and now I have several thousand dollars listed. I'd like to add some value to the community if I may. I found I can often buy discounted gift cards and coupon codes on eBay, use them to buy clearance online, all while using the Rakuten app to get cash back on top of that, sometimes 14%. I have used the Rakuten app myself. It's similar to like a Honey situation, like a, the Honey Google Chrome extension. It's basically free money, so he's right. That's a great app to use. 
They'll conveniently send your cash back in a check. You can even get cash back on eBay purchases and Walmart. It's almost crazy not to use it for purchases you'd make anyway. You could even try stacking it with credit card cash back. During these times of limited interaction, it may be the best time to try online arbitrage. I definitely agree with that. I just don't have any experience doing it. Anyone can use your referral link. Uh, he gave the link down there in the thing uh, to get a... I would I would tell people what the link is, but it's really long. It's it's all that. Uh, so th I'll, I'll use it. I'll use it. Um, to get a bonus $10 cash back after spending $25. For full disclosure, you'll help out a fellow reseller by using this link. Put pins up for me in Negany? Negany? Uh, M-I? What is M-I? Is that Michigan? I think it's Michigan. Negany, Michigan? What does it say? Well, this says... Okay, so Negany, Michigan and Hancock, Maryland. Stay safe, Josh and Haley. And he signed it, Devin. D D D D Valeca on eBay. So, uh, Devin, thanks, man. I appreciate that. Let me look at this. Tenchi Tokyo. That's pretty interesting. I don't know anything about this at all, but it seems to be very cool. So I definitely appreciate it, man. I will. I will save it. I will put it in. I, I don't want to put a pin in it because I don't want to mess it up. But maybe I'll put some tape on the back and stick it up on the board. Uh, but thanks, man. I really appreciate that. Okay, so I'll just give you guys like a brief overview of what everything looks like. This table, if, if you if you follow me at all, you know this table is my death pile. And what I've been doing, I've been listing things that have a high probability of selling, like video game stuff, Nintendo Wii's, electronics. Shoes are not selling great for me right now, so I'm not actively listing those. But I still have them in my death pile, obviously. Um I also need to just build a shed. I have like all of my personal stuff out here, like the lawnmower and this chair. So I need to just get all that stuff out. But like over there is my boxes. <laughs> it's just, it sucks. I'm just not a naturally organized person. Like uh, I know a lot of it, some people say like, oh, how could you work in an area like that? I'm like, I don't work out here. I just have my stuff out here. I'd take all my stuff into my office, which is just slightly cleaner <laughs> than the garage. Um, but I think what I'm gonna do is I have some boxes over there. I'm going to box up all of my death pile that I don't want to actively list right now. Like my shoes, um, you know, some, I don't know, some of my clothing. This looks like a big pile of clothes, but it's not that big. There's um, something underneath here that's, where's that? Cowboy hat? I don't know. There's just some clothes. I just want to, I'm not going to list clothes. I'm not going to list shoes right now, at least maybe next week I'll start doing it, but I want to box those up and I'll probably leave the boxes on the actual table. Um, I just think it'll look better in boxes and be less of an eyesore. So I'll do that today. Uh, this, these are things I've listed recently, like all these puzzles and stuff that I ha haven't put into my bins. Uh, so I'm going to get all this organized into a bin to get all this off the floor. This dumb Budweiser sign that I hate is so big. And I have no idea where to put it, and it's so frustrating. I usually put it over there, but then I can't open the door, so i got to figure out some, something to do with that. Um, but yeah, obviously I've got plenty of time <laughs> to get all this organized. Uh, and, and obviously, like, having a clean workspace is good. Um, just lately, I've just been listing and kind of kind of just feeling not depressed, just weird. It's definitely a weird time for everybody, so... Uh, don't judge me. <laughs> I know it's, I know it's dirty out here. Uh, but I've got plenty of time. I'm going to, my wife has I had, my wife had been home from work for the last like week or so. She had about a week off. Um, they're doing like a rotating schedule. So we've been home just chilling, playing video games, just enjoying each other's companies. She's back to work starting today, uh, for another week. And then she's got another week off. So for this next week, I'm just going to be working out here, uh, cleaning and organizing and trying to get everything ready to go while I was cleaning. I stumbled upon this Batman costume that I purchased a few months ago. Don't know why. I got it at the bins. Makes my boobs look big. I've come to a point in my life where it's okay. You can wear a Batman costume. What? Who's gonna, who cares? Any of you guys care? You guys care? I don't think so. I got most of my clothes boxed up over here, and that's it. Just decided to take a Batman break. 
Quick update, I got all the cardboard boxes moved out of here and I found six Ikea bags. I knew I had them somewhere, I just had no idea where they were. They were underneath the cardboard. So I put the cardboard in the recycling bin by the road over there. Got another box of shoes boxed up and all the rest of the stuff is closed. Uh, making some progress, making a little bit of progress. Okay, so I feel like I've made some decent progress. We got this area clean, like I said, I've got all that stuff boxed up. I have no idea what I'm gonna do with it. This is all my death pile. I re haven't really gone through it yet. I mean, I've boxed the, some shoes and clothes away, but I haven't gone through everything else. Uh, cleaned up down here a little bit, organized that. Um, I have these three golf bags. I don't really know what else to do with them. I'm just kind of putting them there to get them out of the way. I cleaned up over here a little bit. Uh, I swept this thing off. Uh, you guys like my socks? Look at those. Uh, and now I'm gonna, I got my one of my empty bins out, relatively empty bins, and I'm gonna start to put some of this stuff in here while updating the custom SKU on these listings to match the F bin. Uh, okay, I just, it's just, it's something. <sighs> Guys, I'm thinking about cutting my hair into a mohawk. I asked Haley if I could do it last night and she said no, but why not? <laughs> It's not like I, it's not like I have anywhere to go or any anybody to impress. And honestly, I've cut my hair into a mohawk before, and it's pretty sick. I can pull it off. My head's really big, so when I cut it into a mohawk, it makes my head look nice and skinny. Smash, let me know. Smash the like button, and also drop a comment down below and let me know if you think I should cut my hair into a mohawk. Maybe at thirty thousand subscribers, I'll give away my Dymo printer. Give away my little half-empty bottle of Germex. Actually, I better not say that anymore because it'll probably be gone by then. Uh, so give away the Dymo printer and cut my hair into a mohawk at 30,000 subscribers. Let me know if you think that's a good idea. Okay, so let me show you what I mean by when I said update the custom skew on these to match the bin. So if you go to your active listings, where this is just your yeah, manage active listings, uh, whatever, and you go to enter value, just item title, enter value, and then you can type in whatever you have. So like, Let's do, let's do these two gloves right here. I already got gloves in there, so it's a perfect match. So this is a Nike glove. So I'm just gonna type Nike, uh, not gl gl Nike glove. And it should pop up. Yeah, that's it right there. So in the custom label field right here, you see it's empty. So, but if you push this little edit key, it'll let you type in a custom SKU. So since we're putting it in the F bin, I'm just gonna type F in this little thing right here. Let me make it capitalized. Type F, submit. And now it's custom SKU F. So whenever this glove sells, it'll pop up and say, congratulations, this item sold. It'll have like the buyer's address. And then at the bottom, it'll say custom SKU F. So I'll know that this Nike glove is now in the F bin. And that's basically what I'm gonna do with all of these listings. I do like that you don't have to go into each individual listing to like actually edit it. Like you can edit it from the, basically the home screen here. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Uh, the reason I don't do it when I'm actually listing is because a lot of the stuff I'm listing now is selling really quickly. So usually I'll list stuff and then for the first 48 hours or so, I'll just put it in a pile right here. That way if it sells, I'll know, hey, I listed that really like just a couple hours ago or whatever and I'll just go out the pile and get it. Uh, and then once it sits there for longer than that, then I'll go ahead and put it into one of my bins here. So hopefully that makes sense. All right, you guys, so I think I've made some pretty good progress. Obviously not on the death pile, but we got most of that stuff uh, organized into a bin. Uh, I still need to like vacuum or sweep all this stuff. It's kind of dirty there, but um, I'm feeling, feeling pretty good. Feeling pretty good with the progress for today. So I realized that this video is getting really long and thanks for still watching, but I still got to go over these last six postcards. I'm going to do it really fast. This is from Oklahoma Beauty. Look at that. That is a beauty. Josh, hey there. So enjoy your videos. So much awesome info and content. Keep doing what you're doing. You rock. God bless. Jennifer, uh, Jennifer something. JC's Junkin Jubilee. So Jennifer from JC's Junkin Jubilee, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Next up, we've got... This is an envelope. This is from Grand Rapids, Michigan. Ooh, ooh, ooh. what was that? Ooh, an owl. Sick. This is a barred owl. Uh, uh, Audubon National Audubon Society. Okay. Ooh, this is a long one. Uh, hey, Josh. So I live in a pretty small town, and unfortunately, a postcard from my town is probably out of the question. My husband and I, my husband and I live in Fremont, Michigan. 
which is just north of Grand Rapids if you're trying to find us on your map. I started selling on eBay about a month and a half ago, which is around the time I found your channel. I just wanted to say I love the videos, especially your positivity. I also wanted to thank you for your help when I reached out to you on Instagram. Good luck with everything and say hi to the family, mostly your doggo. Sadie, aka Supergirl's Adventure. Sadie, thank you so much. I really appreciate this. I will put it up on the board. Next up is from another one from Oklahoma. Look at there, that's cool. It says, we, oh, cool handwriting. Look at there. Interesting handwriting. Uh, this says, we look forward to your videos. Love the one about the new Scotch packing material. Thanks for sharing your experiences. Lori and Mark. Lori and Mark, thank you so much. I appreciate all the love on that video. Uh, and you guys are awesome. Appreciate it. Next one is Provincial Bird, the Mosquito. Uh, greetings from Canada. Okay, cool. I uh, love the channel. No clickbait or hyperbole so envious of the u.s postal system and goodwill bins you have access to peace and this is i'm so sorry i can't i can't read your name but that's what it says lou lou something winnipeg manitoba canada so lou something from winnipeg manitoba canada thank you so much cool card i appreciate it two more this one is an envelope this is from simpson from west uh, the mail stamp has, says Cincinnati, Ohio, so somewhere up there, I'm guessing. This says, oh, it's a, it looks like a hand-colored card. Love never fails, 1 Corinthians 13, 8. That's so cool. Uh, hey, Josh, I really enjoy your channel. My husband and I are retired. Resell on eBay part-time. We are from West, I guess, West Harrison. Oh, I'm, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what that says. West Harrison something? Indiana? Maybe? I, I don't know. West, West, I don't know. On the outskirts of Harrison, Ohio. I guess it is Ohio. West Harrison, Ohio from the outskirts of Harrison, Ohio. We live about 10 miles outside of town in the country, but if you're standing in town, place one foot on either side of the yellow line and you are standing in Ohio and Indiana, I guess. I-N-D, Indiana. I think that's Indiana. Uh, thanks again for your great channel, Pat S., uh, Miss Pat and husband, thank you guys so much for this card. It looks like you colored that for me, so I really appreciate that. I'll put it up on the board along with the, I'll probably include the envelope here. And then the last one, this is from another one from Down Under, Brisbane, Brisbane, Australia. This says, Harry Tornado, thank you for all your tips and advice. We wanted to send a postcard after our first completed sale. Thanks again. Enjoy your year of the Zozo. Guys, turns out Zozo is pretty crappy so far, <laughs> but... Got to remain positive. It, it'll be okay. Uh, enjoy your year of the Zozo from Brisbane, Australia. Brisbane, Australia. Gus and Jess. Gus and Jess. That is a cute couple name. Gus and Jess. Australia. Down under. And that's it. That's all the postcards. That's it. We've, we, have, uh, we have completed. I went to my post office uh, yesterday and I didn't have anything else. So I think I'm caught up on those. Um... I'm just going to go ahead and cut it off today. I know this video is super long. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is, again, day one of the 30-day vlog challenge. Uh, hopefully, it'll get better because I don't think this video is very good. But I appreciate you guys watching. Smash the like button if you did like it at all. And be sure to subscribe. Uh, help me get to 30,000 subscribers so I can cut my hair into a mohawk. I appreciate it. You're the best. And I'll catch you guys on the next one.